How's it going everyone and welcome back to another Destiny 1 video, the comfy home of Destiny veterans wanting a dose of throwback in their lives. Today is another package opening, mainly because I've been having such a fun time on Destiny 1 and you guys love it as well, and with it being so heavily requested and me enjoying myself so much, I thought it would be a perfect situation. It's been a very humbling experience every time I go back to the game and play Crucible or just hang around in the tower. You guys are always around dancing and sending me messages and it just really shows how important and how fun this game still is for so many people. It's lovely to see so thank you for that. I'm happy to bring back some nostalgia memories and provide you with some silly content to watch. However, before we begin, I am delighted to say this is my first ever sponsored video, courtesy of the wonderful folks over at Raid Shadow Legends. Well I was going to take a quick moment to tell you about this new mobile game, and it looks like everyone at the tower already has their hands on it, so I guess I'd better get started before Zavala finds out everyone's on their phones and we'll get in trouble. So the game is Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free RPG game and so far over 10 million people worldwide are playing. It's technically a mobile game, but it plays a lot like a PC or a console game. They've even got an actual roadmap for you with about 6 months worth of content. And this game has an amazing storyline, there are bosses to fight, the graphics are gorgeous, and I don't know about you, but two of my favourite things in life are loot and customization. And this game has both. There are literal hundreds of champions that you can collect and customise and you play to unlock their skills and abilities. Then you take them out and pick fights against demons or other players. You know, some people just enjoy collecting, and you can spend all your time just focusing on that if you want. You can join a clan if you're more of a social player, or you can lean more towards the PvP stuff if that's your thing. There's a whole competitive leaderboard in everything. Or maybe you just want to stick to slashing demons for that sweet, sweet, sweet loot. loot. Click the link in the description if you guys are interested in playing, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Massive thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. Starting on the Warlock in the Felwinter's Peak social space, arguably the coolest place you could probably go to as a social space. Maybe if I open these bounties next to Lord Saladin, I'll get mainly Iron Banner weapons. But real quick, just to sum up these bounties, you can get Trials weapons, Iron Banner weapons like I just said, regular Crucible weapons too, but it's a simple stuff, 50 kills with auto rifles, scout rifles, and when it comes to shotguns only 25 and the idea is you can get iron banner and trials weapons from previous years for doing little to no work <laughs> sounds like a pretty good deal to me the fact that it's been over two years since i've made these package openings is mental from 500 subscribers to almost 50,000. like what's happened anyway enough talking let's open some bounties heavy weapons first ruin wake <laughs> oh no let's also go have a shotgun come on trials a curtain call again. <laughs> Second week running. Final round, rifle barrel, lightweight, close and or personal, army of one, and the sights are smooth ballistics, accurized ballistics, and aggressive ballistics. Not half bad, you know? Another curtain call was one weapon that people requested me to use for this video, but I don't know what it is about the shotgun. I cannot use it. Th just this one. If it's the Matador, it's fine. If it's the Universal Remote, fine. This one, nope. I cannot hang, as they say. What about this, oh, the Ruin Wake? It's been so long since I've seen you. I've not missed you one bit. <laughs> it's just the magazine size it always put me off. Perks don't look too bad. We have range finder, skip rounds, hand light stock, rifle barrel, and counterbalance. Acaris ballistics, linear compensator, and soft ballistics. So we got a lot of stability here, and also... Thanks to Rifle Barrow, got a decent amount of range. Decent, whole bunch of stability with range finder. I mean, it's one of the better rolls I've gotten, to be honest. You know what, Ruin Wake? I don't care how ugly you are. You don't have a bad roll there. Now let's compliment a gun. Subscribe if you're new around here for more gun complimenting gameplay. Can we talk about how cool my Warlock looks, by the way? Let's not pay attention to those gross intellect, discipline, and strength stats. Just, just look at the outfit. Let's look at the aesthetic. I look electric -y. There is an auto rifle bounty this week, and I'm just I'm trying to remember, is the Doctrine of Passing available to get from these bounties? I seriously can't remember. I know I have it already, and I do remember I got specifically ripped for not having the Adept version. Thanks for that. Let's go to this stupid Clash bounty. 77 wizard, I mean, what else is new? The sky is blue. Auto rifle. Ooh, the unbent tree. That is an auto rifle. Once again, I've not seen it in a while. Out of all my bounty openings as well, I don't think I've... I don't think I get that one very often at all. And if I remember correctly, it's very high rate of fire. Let's go fusion. Why not? Each new day. Oh, wow. And five motes of light for ranking up. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. I think saying it's the rate of fire auto rifle was a fair statement. <laughs> That's like zero impact. What is that, one? I'm looking at Destiny Art Manager for this. Is that actually one impact? That's two. Oh, okay. This thing's gonna fly. Okay, so first of all, we have Counterbalance. We have Unflinching. Quick Draw, a Pedder Magazine, even more magazine size. Okay. We do have Small Bot, and we do have Injection Mode. Look at that stability. You know, I... I want to go in a Crucible and try this out. Look at that range. Oh, man. It's going to be like two impact and two range. Iron Red Dot, Warrior Sights, and Range Scope. You know what? Give me a second. Just give me a second. I'm going to spend... I'm about to spend more motes of light. A few moments later. <laughs> it's the weirdest stats for a weapon I've probably ever seen. And 69 in the magazine. As folks would say nowadays, nice. Okay, I really want to go in the Crucible with this thing, so... You know what? We're going. <laughs> give us a second. 
professional warlock here. This isn't bad, you know. I thought I expected it to be bad anyway. It's a max rate of fire weapon. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> I think this is the best rolled iron band weapon I've ever gotten. Okay, this thing's really good. <laughs> oh, what I've reloaded. I'd probably have the magazines so I have to take them on. You know what, you can have your moment. Have you got a weapon with a 69 magazine? I thought so. Oh, well, I think we've got the answer about that weapon. Good. <laughs> and the two fusion rifles we have, this is the each new day. We have Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, Snapshot, Battle Runner, and Underdog. Need to say something, by the way, about a fusion rifle I got last week. Leading up to the bounties, I always try to use the weapons I got from the previous week, and you guys remember I got the Long Far Gone, which has Replenish, and I've never really taken advantage of Replenish until well, recently. Using it in regular Clash or just Mayhem especially, this has been incredibly useful. If you're in a Titan, you pop a bubble and you get six magazine. And I know it's not the best fusion rifle, but I've got some pretty fun plays with it. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys on me actually using a perk for once <laughs> and utilizing it correctly. That runner sounds useful if you're being aggressive and pushing pretty hard with it. Now the 77 wizard with the glitch style impact. Look at that stupid tiny white line at the end. You now cannot unsee that. You're welcome. <laughs> We have Lightweight, Brace Frame, Feather Mag, and Spray and Play. You see what I did there, guys? I last resort because the... I'll, I'll stop. The final bounty. The Pulse Rifle. Are we going to get a blinded... P p blind Pedition? Bl last Pedition? I'm getting Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 mixed up. Oh, boy. Are we going to get a Blind Pedition? Ooh, spare change. Is Heli going to say he's not seen this in a while? Find out in three, two, one. I've not seen or got this in a while. Wow. Glass half full. The perk I... Said wrong, last video. <laughs> Fitted stock, feather mag, old frame, and partial refund. This might be a bit of a stupid statement, but the only thing I have partial refund on and I actively used in Destiny 1 was the Ice Luna. I don't know. I just felt it would be useful sometimes in, in certain situations. And was it? Hmm. No. <laughs> oh, look at that setup. <laughs> so much color going on. Anyway, let's switch. Maybe Brother Vance can give me some luck. The roof is such a cool social space. I think you can do the floaty thing if you stand between here. Wait, where is it? There we go, look. Now I'm floating. Freak all the newcomers out. Hello. Hey, I'm trying to spook you. Pay attention to me. You know what? Let's just do some quickfire bounties. Clash. All Sunbreakers. And another Trolls Emblem. Wow. Is that another one I didn't have? I I think so. Look, guys, I know how to play Crucible. That is a daunting emblem. Imagine matching up in Crucible, seeing that emblem, going to my loader, and then seeing a blue auto rifle. Well, Sunbreakers, I am, I am a hunter, but... You know what, intellect and discipline roll? I'll take that, happily. I mean, let's take a look at one trials item. Let's check out the rest of these four. Shotgun. Curtain call again. <laughs> Fusion rifle. Each new there again. Pulse rifle. Clever dragon, iron banner. And lastly, the deal breaker auto rifle. Right, you know, we're off to a good start there. Clever Dragon is by far one of my favorite pulse rifles of Destiny 1. Pretty hard there with the messenger pulse rifle. Glass off full, unflinching, lightweight, casket mag, small bore, and old frame. I mean, if we want to, we can have max reload speed here. Not that that you know, do any good. <laughs> I do believe I have better rolls, but I think for the best case with this one is glass half full, casket mag, and small bore. The deal breaker. Now, I don't think I've ever used this. Snapshot, fitted stock, small bore. Spray and play and crowd control. One of the better rolls I've gotten with this weapon. We have a little bit of stability. We have fast reload when the magazine is empty and also rampage. We have an each new day fusion rifle once again. We have hidden hand, small bore, enhanced battery, spray and play once again, and Icarus. Not a bad roll, you know. Lastly, the curtain call with full auto, rifle barrel, perfect balance, cascade, and knee pads. Ooh, love me a bit of slide shot. Don't care too much about full auto, but rifle barrel and knee pads, that's decent. You know what, brother Vance? Thanks for nothing. I will buy some motor of light for you though. So. Thank you. I switched to my Titan and now I'm being told that I'm ranking up with every faction available. So this is going to maybe take a while. Well, Moon's Haunted, so I thought this would be a very fitting place to end the package opening, being on our Titan. And by the way, look at this outfit. Look at... Look what I'm rocking right now. I don't think you guys can fully appreciate the colours involved here. We've got some yellow on the back, we've got some red on the arms, blue, green, obviously the engram helmet. Ah, I miss this place. Good thing it's coming back. Let's get handed in these bounties. Oh god, these guys have spawned in. Are they new? Level 8? 
Level 10, oh my god, that's adorable. Look at them off on their adventure. I think a fair comment to make is this package opening has not been too eventful. Let's change that. Super good advice. <laughs> okay, that's a that's a difference. I legitimately don't think I've seen that in my inventory for years. Wow, I hated this thing. Do you guys remember exotic bounties from Xander? The rate of fire was just too high. I <laughs> I always hated it. That's all I remember about this thing. I don't even know why. It's a solid machine gun. That's eventful. Okay. In times of need. Do what is that? Is that Iron Banner? I feel like I've got this before, but not too many times. Final round, fitted stock, injection mold, flared magwell, so nothing of range here. Butter runner, and the sights are smooth ballistics, accurized ballistics, and soft ballistics. Okay, that's not great. That range is very low. What a weird shotgun. I need to look this up. Is that a crucible weapon? This item was granted during the Crimson Doubles event of February 2016. I'm, I'm sorry if that was your prize. Fusion Raffle. Split shift to pro. You could not escape this from a crucible end game screen in Destiny 1 year 2. Pulse raffle. Spare change again. And lastly the author raffle to finish this off. We have a zero day dilemma. Okay. No trials weapons this week. Glass half full ever present in this video. Fitted stock. Feather mag, skip rounds, and I have the storm. Zero day dilemma, always a big fan of auto revels, typically. Persistence, braced frame, a pen and magazine, focus fire, and grenadier. Oh, focus fire. Focus fire with persistence. Hmm, that is an interesting one. I kind of want to use this. All right, what's the split shifter? Come on, just, just throw it at me. Army of one, lightweight, rifle barrel, accelerated calls, and surrounded. You can get max reload speed with this thing. Why am I obsessed with putting max reload and everything? I mean, I don't like army of one, but it's, it's not a terrible role. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's package opening. That is now three Destiny 1 videos in a row, so I've not forgotten about Destiny 2, don't worry. <laughs> really do hope you guys enjoyed the video though. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe if you're new around here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Rate my Titan's appearance out of 10 in the comment section below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.